Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at async await. Async await is one of C-sharp's implementation of asynchronous programming. Asynchronous programming basically means that you can run some code in parallel instead of sequentially, saving your player some valuable time. So let's get into it! So, imagine this scenario. Your player wants to quit the game and before he quits, you want to save his data. Usually the way you would do this is um, let's say here, let's say this is a method that's called when the player actually quits your game. Um, you would save the game. Save the game would maybe uh, save something to the local player preferences, um, save the world state to the server, and write some logs. So, in an asynchronous manner, it would save, wait for this method to be done, then save the world state to server, and write the logs after. So, the time it takes to execute each method adds up, and then you have a 25 second. Um, runtime for that save game. Um, we can confirm that quickly by checking into the Unity editor. So here I have a, a synchronous script on this. And if I start the game, you will see with the numbers that one, one, two, two, three, three pattern. Because we start by saving the player pref, then we wait for it to be done, start the second one, wait for it to be done, start the third, wait for it to be done, and then the fourth. So sometime this is fine, but sometimes those methods can take a long time and you could actually optimize it so that uh, you don't have to wait for the first method to finish to start the second. Because if they have no dependency between each other, then you actually don't need for them to be um, synchronous. You can have them asynchronous. So let's take a look how we could make this um, asynchronous. So I have a synchronous script here. Um, so in here, you would mark the method with an async. Async just means that there's going to be some async function in the body of this function. In here, you would have the save method that's also an async, but since in this context we want to wait for the save to be done, even if we're in an async function, we put the keyword await before, which means still wait for the save function to be done before executing these two, saying that the app is closing and quitting the app. So. Take a look in the save game. So here, I didn't want to <laughs> make you guys wait for uh, 25 seconds. So uh, I've put tasks that are uh, smaller. So let's say this local task, task sorry, local uh, prefs task, take three seconds to execute and the uh, save world takes two seconds to execute. Um, so if we would do this synchronously, that would mean a five second execution. But in this case, we're doing it in a sync function and these are marked as a sync. So, when, I, when we write this, they're going to run in parallel. So that means that our time is cut. Our waiting time is cut by, it's, it's defined by the longest task to execute. In our case, it's the three second task. This is the longest. So when we say here, wait for the, the, these tasks, these two tasks to be done, it's going to wait for the longest task to be done, the three seconds. And then it's going to write the logs, going to wait for it to be done, and then it's going to return. So we're going to have waited five seconds instead of waiting uh, three here, two here, and then two here, which would have been um, seven seconds. So we cut down on time. And uh, we can prove it by uh, going into uh, Unity. So in Unity here, I'm going to deactivate my synchronous and activate my synchronous. We're going to clear those log. And we should see that the second task finished before the first one. So on two, this is finished, and then the third one finished, and then we have that everything is safe. That also takes uh, two seconds, and then we close the app. So as you see, in here, we didn't have to wait for this to be done. The save, the world save actually finished first, and then this one save, and then the execution keep on going. I hope it helped you see the value of asynchronous programming. In Unity, this is one way of optimizing your code by running heavy functions that don't have dependency between each other in parallel. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.